Well, Si, where you been? You wasn't here the other day. We brought in Corey to replace you. I will have to yeah. say, well, how did that? Go? This is a downgrade. It went good. Oh, don't tell me that. No, Corey's always fun. No, he was saying you were a downgrade. Yeah, I, oh, oh, yeah. I was a downgrade. Well, hey, <laughs> that's what he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> It just went right over, the, right over. The, that's like that's that. because he ain't woke up yet. Yeah, poor boy ain't woke up. He ain't well, woke I actually up. went to Houston for my doctor's appointment. How'd it go? It went good, and uh, he they, showed me the valve that that we're we're doing a bunch of tests right now to find out if I'm a candidate for it. Because you got to have all these problems to be a candidate for it. They but, need. Do they need somebody to come testify on your behalf? I was wondering <laughs> if we could make a they, joke yeah. about all your problems. Do they need a character no, witness. Yeah. <laughs> no, no they, they already know about the problem. Because <laughs> when, when Doctor Connolly come in, he said, "Oh, I'm in, in the presence of greatness." I said, "No, that's the other way around, there, Mister." Oh, but, oh, uh, we. Hey, look, you gonna start watching late night TV like ten thirty to eleven? Um, you gonna start seeing size face talking about an implant for your lungs? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Well, no, no, it was very interesting. You know, because he actually showed me one of them, and I, I, you know, if you don't know anything about it, okay, I ain't got a clue. You always, yeah, you always just imagine, okay? You know, <laughs> and I, I imagine this thing kind of like a big spider. Was it? Yo, that was going. They were going to put it inside my lungs, and then it was going to do this with claws to hold it there. That's the most terrifying now, thing I've ever heard. No, well, I, see, that was just me assuming a bunch of junk. Okay. So what's it going to do? Well, no, no. All it is is a real soft piece of uh, tubing made out of uh, pig meat. Well, no, part of a pig. No, it's made out of some kind of plastic. And all you do is you put it. It fits. They actually have to. Uh, you know, uh, tailor fit it to your to your airways. That's what I'm saying. Yo, and he said, "Hey, yo," he said, "Oh, this is the easiest part is putting this in." He said, "All the preliminary work is the real hard part." You know, because he's got to figure out, you know, is this part of the lung? Because I didn't know it. Let's see, it's it's one or the other. I'm not sure now. He told me this, okay. But you got you got two lobes on. On one side and three on the other. Hmm. Okay, which I did not know. Yeah, I'm not a pulmonologist, so I didn't uh, know yeah, that. Well, he, look, he's drawing all these pictures telling me the problems I've got with my lung, and he's drawing his lungs. Okay, he, these are healthy ones. These are that need work. You know? These are yours. Yeah, you know, so so it was really cool about all the stuff, you know, and, and, and the trick to it is, okay, he's got to figure out if the bottom – Bottom part of the lobe is talking to the t top part. Because if, if they're talking to each other, I'm, I'm can't do it. Can't do nothing to it, about it. But if they ain't talking, but to if one they're another, not talking to each other, then you can you have can, counseling. Yeah, I always yeah. got in trouble for yeah. talking. In yeah, the yeah, you can actually put something in there, you know, and they won't know it anyway because they, <laughs> they ain't can they ain't communicate. Okay, so hey, that's one here's one of the the new good things I learned there. Okay, communication is the key. <laughs> okay, because if you ain't communicating, you get left out, Jack. Okay, uh, so hey, but I it was hear. really, it was really interesting, and and the whole time he's doing this, I guess I had a funny expression on my face because as he was talking, I'm thinking, okay, about the Almighty, you know. And I said, I said, I said, well, I, I said, I said, I really enjoyed what you're telling me. Because I got a better idea of you know what's wrong with me, you know, long wise. I said, but it just, I said, God is having so much fun with me right now, okay. You know, because every day, He's sending someone or send put me in a situation where I learn something, okay. And like, you don't really understand how perfect a body you've got. Okay, until you get sick and then until it starts falling apart. <laughs> yeah, 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 when it's falling apart, then you say, "Yo, well, we can do this," and you know, because used to look when they had all that, they would go in and cut out part of it, and then the doctor said, "Hey, it's brutal. It was brutal back in the in the day when we was learning." Yeah, you know, he said, "Now it's a lot, lot better." Now they go in and put Ooh. a little tube in. Yeah, and you go well, now they just look. It's, it's like just a valve. Okay, to stop the air, it will it will go out, but it won't come back in. 
so it won't you won't trap any bad air in your lung. Okay, it will only let it you know go out. It won't stay there. You trap bad air in your lung. Yeah. Oh yeah. If you can't expand, like when you intake, you know, we both when I inhale, okay, the good lungs and the bad lungs, okay, it's about the same deal. You know, but the problem is, okay, when it exhale, I don't get rid of all of it. Okay, he does because he's healthy. Yeah. So, so you really, holding in, you holding in some of that like paper mill oh no, air in no, there. No, so yeah. That ain't no good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like foul owl air. Right. You know. Foul owl. Well, no wonder That's your, your nephew. Getting big. Well, no, he just got confused when he's talking about air and owl. Yeah. I, I see where you can make that confusion. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I feel where, like I'm getting a full. I got where I can't even talk, but it was very interesting. And it was very ed ed educational. Okay, so they so. just giving you some stuff to help expand your airways more. Well, in a way, to empty them. Yeah, to empty. So that way, the air can, can escape. Well, he can fill them up. He can't he get can't rid. empty. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because of the diaphragm is not working properly because yeah. it's damaged from from. Well, if they were this idiot smoking too many cigarettes. Okay, cigarettes are bad for you. Don't listen to what they say. They're lying to you. Who says they're good for you? Uh, the people that make them. <laughs> okay. Oh, I don't even hey, think they're making that claim like anymore. It, I, I apologize, no. but hey, just live with it. You, you get, what, what, you get what, what you you get what you deal with. Boy. So what did what did we learn? I mean, I know what you learned, but like, where are you in the process now? Well, where? we took uh, an X-ray. They put a bunch of, uh, I think I, I think they named it iodine, but it's actually it's some kind of uh, monkey blood. Yeah, huh? <laughs> it's just something dark where they can see everything better. Okay. It, oh, they put some contrast in you yeah, did a cat yeah, and would, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well they can see it better. I got you. But anyway, okay. and I ain't got the results of that yet. That being, a, you know, within 24 hours they said. You'll glow in the dark now. Oh, I glow in the dark anyway. <laughs> you glow in that, the dark. But that's just one of my other problems that I have to deal with. It. <laughs> <laughs> that's too uh, too that's much just, lemon in his tea. That's just another thing I brought home from Nam. <laughs> no, 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 that's why me and God have so much fun. I'm serious. I, I really, I really do. By the way, he's waking me up all hours of the night and morning. Okay, just to whisper little nuggets that I need to hear in me, and I'm and I'm loving it. Okay. There's one of them. I've got oh. to eat. Look, the cool thing is you no longer have to choose between better hair growth and your health. There's a holistic solution for men that promotes both healthier hair and whole body wellness. What are we talking about? We're talking about our friends over at Nutrafol. You can get ahead of your thinning hair with Nutrafol's whole body approach to hair growth. No drugs, no compromises. That's a good thing. And when you've got a hairdo like me and Godwin, you need a little help. I mean, that's just all there is to it. Y'all look good. I grew out of my hair. I don't know what Godwin's defense is i mean i'm six four and he not so um, neutrophil is the number one dermatologist recommended hair growth supplement clinically shown to improve your hair growth thickness and visible scalp coverage their hair growth nutraceuticals go beyond genetics to target the root causes of thinning hair hey so it's science so i love science he does love science he's talked it all day that's why he's got that sweet ponytail. Science. Whether it's stress, hormones, nutrition, metabolism, aging, or lifestyle, doesn't matter. They take care of it. Physician formula using natural medical-grade ingredients. Nutrafol's drug-free patented technology provides consistent, reliable results. In a clinical study, men show progressive improvement in hair growth and thickness after three and six months. Hmm. It's trusted and recommended by over 3,000 top doctors. So. And approved by science. So there you go. What else could you have to worry with? You can grow thicker, healthier hair and support our show by going to Nutrafol.com and entering the promo code DUCK to save $15 off your first month subscription. This is their best offer anywhere, and it is only available to U.S. customers for a limited time. Plus, free shipping on every order. Get $15 off at Nutrafol.com, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L.com, promo code DUCK. We went to Houston, okay. We had uh, a get together with uh, Weldon, oh. the American Scroll guy. Oh, yeah. You know, me and, me and uh, Philip. And while we was there, okay, we met an extraordinary, extraordinary. Oh, fella, yeah. Okay. I Will heard of this. Chesney. Yep. Okay. That's Kenny's brother. No, this is oh. the Navy SEAL. And like when he was 
Show the autograph. You got to show the autograph. Huh? The autograph in there. Oh, you've seen, you know about this? I hunted with him this year. Oh, okay. Okay. He autographed your book? There's the autograph. This is not Kenny's book. One more page. Yeah, this is not Will. No, that's that's the autograph. The pop. Yeah, but you had it on the back. Now there it is. Well, I'm just saying, this book is literally really about the dog. It is. Okay, he's the most famous dog, military dog in the world. Okay, and he was actually Will's uh, right hand man with him when he was in the field. Okay, I, can't, I guess that's wrong. Okay, right hand man, right hand dog. <laughs> but anyway, they was, I hadn't read it. I just read part of it. And they, them two guys. It's actually going to be really a good read. It is. Yeah, I'm about halfway through it. Oh no, no, because I read about five pages of it, and I said, "Well, I got to go to bed." <laughs> when you is that when you hunted? Whenever Brittany had yeah. COVID, and I stayed yeah. home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang, I hate him. They was a, they he's the real deal. When it, when he was a kid, okay, all he was, could think about was, okay, I'm gonna be a Navy SEAL, and I'm gonna be the one to get Bin Laden. Oh, well, he was, he was in there. Okay, but he was on. He was one of the teal scene members that did that raid. Well, there you go. Okay, yep. now I don't know if he was the one that actually, you know, took care of Ben. Laden. You don't ever have a boring trip, do you? No, mm-hmm. no. That's why I'm saying God is having so much fun with me. I'm and you serious. met the dog? Huh? No, no, the dog is passed away. Oh, okay, okay. But but the thing about it is, you know, this is truly amazing. Okay, because the human being has said, okay, man's best friend. Okay, and in some in some instances, oh, that's that's very t- true. Oh, ain't no doubt. Okay, because this dog, you know, took bullets for soldiers. I tend to agree with them mm-hmm. people that say we don't deserve dogs. I, I, I tend to agree with those no, people. No, no, we really don't. Yeah. We re- yeah, no. you're right. Yeah, okay. I, I tend to agree with that. You know? Because this is one of the things, because I always say when I'm out preaching, talking to people about Jesus, that we misuse the word love because we really don't have, in my humble opinion, a real understanding of it. That's right. Because, okay, this dog was always, whatever happened, he would take it so the other guy for the other soldier didn't. Okay, now that's true love. Yeah. Okay, to give yourself for someone else. Okay, so it's oh, yeah. it's uh, it's amazing. It, it was a really good trip. Okay, as far as I was concerned, because I learned a lot and I actually got to talk to a lot of people. And and one of the guys that I got to talk to, he said, I don't know what happened. I used to be pretty tight with God. You know, and he said, if something just happened, and you know, how do I get back? And I said, well, that ain't a big problem. I said, all you did, you, you do what all humans do, okay? You stumble. I said, and, the, and he said, yeah, but how did it happen? I said, well, you took your eyes off of Jesus. I said, you got to stay focused on him. You know, and then you, you, you know, and I said, all you do, hey, go back. Start going back to meeting with the God's people. Okay, that's who you hang with. Okay, that's how you get back in, is you hang with God's people. You know, and when you mess up, just like I do on a <laughs> probably a daily basis, I got to say, hey, you asked me again, and, you know, and I've been an idiot again. <laughs> I'm back. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> and, 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 you know, just I know. I know before he might to say it to you, I know. It's so stupid that I did it, but I, I did it again. Hey, but all- that's true love, Okay. <clears throat> He always forgives us. He died for us when we wasn't wasn't worth it. But you know, now I, I, I'll I'll stop preaching there, buddy. <clears throat> but you I got to stop preaching. You're yeah. pretty good at it. Uh, I really had a good time. Yeah, that's good. Yo, I'm like Tom Brady right now. Yo, very athletic and handsome. Oh, well, they offered no, you 375 no, no. mil to call football. No, no, I'm having the time of my life. Oh, okay, because that's okay. the way I look at Tom Brady. Okay, he's having the time of his life. Okay. The I don't know. I've seen what the boy life. eats. He ain't really living. <laughs> he goes to bed at eight thirty or something like yeah, that. He, he hey, well, uh, what he wants, uh, with what he wants, yeah, he's living. Boy, different people are different. People. I, ain't, living I ain't seen nothing of him catching a fish or killing a duck. He ain't living. 
Well, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> that's just a, that, but that's. I from, wouldn't trade that's it. That's from your yeah. perspective. Okay, I've got a different perspective. No, I, I know I. Well, yours I, is I, wrong. Tongue in uh, cheek. <laughs> <laughs> yours is wrong, so we got to cancel you. So <laughs> well, hey, that out. Well, hey, I, I, I don't agree with you. Therefore, well, you're wrong. I, I go, I, I go that way a lot. Okay, <laughs> okay, I'm wrong a lot. So hey, yeah, but wow. that's, that's me. Okay, wow. but anyway, the trip was to me a very successful. Venture. Successful venture. Okay. You take your new rig? H oh, yeah. oh yeah. How yeah. Out of driving in style. Oh, right. Fine. You sleep the whole way? No. Yeah. Oh. No, couldn't sleep with too much traffic. Oh, I got you. It was bumper to bumper. Oh, oh it, it is six down lanes. there. Woo. And, and here's what hit me. You know, I'm driving we driving down the road. I was saying I fixed that I was driving. No. Phillips driving down the road in my new truck. Okay. <laughs> and it's bumper to bumper. Yeah. Okay. And this is like 9.30 in the morning. In Houston? Yeah. Houston. Yeah, there's a lot of humans down there. <laughs> Don't anybody humans. work anymore? Yeah, they're going to work. They're try- no, they-, they ain't going to work. They're late if they're going to work. They- they've been up since 7, just stuck in traffic. Well, I'm saying, where are all these people going? Oh, where? <laughs> well, no, no, everybody's headed to Texas. I know that because what I, I talked to somebody the other day in church. Yo, and he said uh, six hundred a day. Really? Yeah, coming from 600. California. Six hundred people a day are coming. Yo, my daughter, where she lives, she lives outside of Fort Worth in Hearst, Texas. Okay, there's been like a million people come in the last year. There's almost as many wow. people in Houston as there is in Louisiana. Oh no, no, I didn't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, that was one of the things I didn't know Houston was that big. Oh, it's, yeah, it's so big. we go it's over giant. one of them big high ramps. Mm-hmm. Okay, getting into into the Houston. Yeah. And I mean, as far as you can see the left, there's skyscrapers, and as far as you can see the right, skyscrapers. And then when we get to driving where we're going, okay, we go got to some, some of the suburbs of Houston. And okay. Then you got to pay to go down the road. Well, no, no, we was lucky. We was on tow roads, but it always said no cash. Yeah. No, you didn't pay. Hey, let me tell you what's going to happen. <laughs> You're going to get a oh, bill. They got a little camera. Oh, yeah. well, and they take a picture of your oh, tag, no, oh, no, and they no. mail you the bill. Oh, okay. Phil told me. I said, well, we may get out. I said, I said when we get off, that's when they'll stick you gonna get No, you're going to get like a $7 yeah. bill in the mail. I got well, one I, before because a okay. buddy borrowed a trailer right. yeah. for Buck care. Commander. No, I, look, I, if you're going to do a toll road, they need to all do that. Like, just take a picture. Well, they're never going to pay for them, all of them. Yeah, ain't no big deal. Mm-hmm. That's, that's like, to get that's like right now. Okay. Why stop? There's a forty billion, uh, forty billion dollar deal that the United States is doing. Okay, billion to buy Twitter? Cause no, oh. it's just for to help Ukraine. Oh yeah. Oh, I hadn't seen that. Yeah. Now everybody up in arms because we're sending forty billion dollars to Ukraine, but infants can't eat because there's a formula shortage. <laughs> Seemed like we could come mm. up with a better spin yeah. for that forty billion. Well, hey, and I'm not saying the folks in the Ukraine don't need no help. Yeah, they need help. I'm just saying we need to prioritize yeah. some things. Yeah, that that perhaps ain't in priority, ain't in the right level of priority. But mm. uh, I stay out of that. Well, that makes sense. Now we're getting into the news. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. that's what Sai saw, and because well, I've seen hey, it everywhere too. I know. And I don't even look for the news, but I've seen that one. I hadn't seen that one. Well, uh, you know, when you're you're out. Somewhere else, and you got all this time on your hands when you're not at the event. Yeah. Okay. So you're in your room. You know, you need you need to do something. So I got the TV on. Yeah. Okay. And I'm finding out all this stuff. Yeah. I noticed there ain't much prior tars and prior tire. I can't even say it now. Patriotism. Uh, well, hi, no. Prioritize. Well, I can't talk there you go. Prioritize. <laughs> Going on Prioritize. lately. Prioritize. No, it's just kind of like a shotgun approach. Shoot them all at once, see what happens. Yeah. Scatter them out there and see where it lands. That's what Paula said when she's one day we I was there in duck season. I had a box of shells. Let you know it's got a picture of them shells spilled out. And she said, "No wonder y'all kill some more. Look at all that." I said, "Yeah, yeah. it's amazing how many fly right through that <laughs> yeah, wall and that stuff too." Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh man. Oh, there's some birds that can duck them. <laughs> okay. Oh, I know. Matrix. No, I'm serious. Matrix ducks. Mm. Okay, hey, they can actually go you and know, I think they're one of them. They call them the, the swallow. Oh, yeah, no, never mind. Okay, because um, hey, look, when you actually, if you actually get one, 
You can't tell. You can't tell. Okay, it ain't nothing but feathers and bones. So no wonder it missed. Okay, there ain't nothing to hit. I don't know what you're talking about. I've never shot it. Before. We'll take know. our. We'll take a break. We'll be back right take after a break, this. Boys. Yeah. A subscription kind of fella, are you? No, nah, I don't. I'm not up late at night. He's not up late at night. That's when all that happens. Subscription? Late well, at night. No. Watching TV late at night. Stuff starts showing up on the carport. Carport, boys. Mm. Uh, but there's some that literally trick you. They you you buy it once, then the next thing you know, you you were actually in a subscription, and you didn't just buy it once. You bought it four times. And you had to click on stuff to get stuff. It's crazy. There's crazy people out there, Martin. It's impossible to know what you're buying. And then just month after month after month. I wish, Martin, you know what I wish? What? There was some sort of solution that would tell you, hey, you're paying for this every month. Pay attention, dummy. You're right. There needs to be some, somebody that watches that for you. Well, there is. Who is it, Martin? Our, tell us. Our friends over at Truebill. Whether you've got forgotten free trials to automatic renewals, when big companies keep charging you, Truebill oh, yeah. is your secret weapon to save you money on subscriptions that you just simply don't need. Truebill is the new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions you don't need, want, or you just simply forgot about them. I think we've all been guilty of that. You sign up to watch the TV show that everybody's talking about, yeah. and you're like, man, I can watch this in seven days, and oh. you forget about it. The uh -huh. next thing you know, I just remember you Paramount go. Plus is charging you seven dollars because you wanted to watch eighteen eighty three. Oh, know? I only I got that for Paw Patrol the movie and didn't cancel it. See, I there need to you go, go cancel that. That's why you need to be paying closer attention to your True Bill. On average, people save up to seven hundred twenty dollars a year with True Bill because companies make subscriptions hard to cancel. True Bill makes it incredibly simple. Just link your accounts and True Bill will cancel your unwanted subscription in just one tap. And your True Bill concierge is there when you need them to cancel unwanted subscriptions that way you don't have to we've all benefited from it on especially subscription networks johnny d was watching high school sports i was what i had access to a dead gum streaming network i didn't even know existed so you know what? there you go it happened well you know you get you watch one show and you forget about it it's, so. it seems like such a good deal because it's like oh, I'll, I'll pay five dollars for that next yeah. thing you know month after month after month after month after month there you go. Truebill has over 2 million users and helped them save over $100 million. Matthew B. says in a matter of seconds, he saved $660 for the year on his DirecTV bill, saved $120 for the year on SiriusXM, and saved $840 on car insurance. That's a lot of money. He's in a new tax bracket. Congratulations, Matt B. Don't fall for subscription scams. Start canceling today at Truebill.com slash duck. Go right now, Truebill.com slash duck. It could save you thousands a year. Truebill.com slash duck. duck. If you were going somewhere, you'd go to Texas too? No, I wouldn't. Why wouldn't you? I got a better place. Hawaii. No. no. Because you can't laugh out loud. I know. That'd be a terrible place to go. You can only I couldn't have Aloha. I couldn't live there. Where is that? Hawaii? Yeah, Hawaii. Because I laugh out loud too much. It's a big rock. Do we want to go there? No, hey. So 600 life. people are moving to Texas from California every day? Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't live in California. Yeah. Would you? Where would you go, though? If you were like, I can't live in Louisiana anymore, let's take away home, because I think we'd all pick that. Where would you yeah. go? You can't live here, because you already live here. So we're, yeah. we're moving. We're, where would you go? Where would I go? Yeah. Well, I would need a time machine to go where I would want to go. Oh, no, right here, right now. Oh, right now. Yeah, right, right here, now, right you now. You gotta, you gotta move to a different place. Location. Okay. I'm, I'm saying America. I'm not leaving America, but I guess you could if you wanted to. Yeah, you can go anywhere you want to. Well, say what to Nehu. I'm limited by weather. Weather. He's a lizard, boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm He's limited. going to Arizona. He's, He's staying limited. below I 40. <laughs> He's staying below I 20. Yeah, probably just, so. There's so much that, that's involved in this situation trying to choose. Okay. <laughs> we really, no, no, it really is. Okay, because I, I started to say it, and then I said, wait a minute, hold it. What are you going to do during the hurricane season, Uncle Si? Oh, you're going to Venice. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. But well, you, just, but you me, just run. Okay, if I'm going. You just stayed in the same state. 
I thought the, I guess oh, that's a different a new state. location. Oh, though. that's a different state. Ask yeah. him down there. Yeah. yeah. He ain't even from here. Yeah. Yeah. When you yeah. get below. A different I, state is below yeah. I-10. That's right. You go right. below that's I-10. That's a different you're country. In a, yeah. That's like <laughs> they being. Talk funny down that's there, like too. living on the earth, okay, and you go and you start to live in space. <laughs> That's the difference. So size going to Venice. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go down there where the Mississippi River hits the Gulf of Mexico. I'm, I'm mm-hmm. with you. That's Java. the most amazing place. I, you know, I never thought about that. Oh no, no. I wish I had the vision. Okay, that I could look at the ocean and see all the critters in it <laughs> all at once, oh, like or, Aquaman. Oh no, 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 no. I'm talking. About, I want to see it all. I think he wanting to see like when Jesus parted that Red Sea. Oh yeah, Cy loves the ocean. <laughs> oh no, he loves the ocean. Hey. I want to know where Godwin's going. I'm thinking Godwin going somewhere sandy. He like a he yeah. like being barefoot. And he might go to the Bahamas. And Godwin's going yeah. where it does not any ice is. Yeah, ice. He ain't ice. going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere. The water gets cold. I keep hearing this ice story. What 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 about it? You just oh, don't like cold, about water. cold water. <laughs> Whether I don't it's like cold water. whether it's liquid <laughs> or it's hard, you don't like it. That's right. Either way, yeah. and that's okay. It's okay. I don't particularly. Yeah. I'm gonna go. Well, I'm gonna go north. He's going north, boys. Arkansas. Right. At least he got the compass pointing north. He going central Arkansas. Okay. Missouri. Now I might go up a little bit. Oh, that's right. Iowa. Somewhere where no. No, it's too cold. <laughs> no, he thought he thought <laughs> he, he was minded there. Nope, somewhere around the line, the Arkansas line and the Missouri line. Oh, up around Real Foot, that Missouri, whole area. Uh, right That's a there good you go. part. Because of the you can get to a lot of different fishing places from right there. Oh, there you go. Oh, I can appreciate right across that. the line. Giant D. Giant the line. Got a lot of tough up there too. because I want to say Montana. Ooh, but oh, I've oh. only been there in the summer, no, and I don't no, think I'd like it no, in the winter. No, <laughs> no, said no, no, so, no, 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 no. I would. Hey, when the weather will get so cold that it kills cows? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think in I'm Montana. <laughs> I don't think I'm yeah. tough enough to make it through a Montana winter. Yeah. But but the sky is just so big there. They should name something after that. I know it. It's such a big maybe sky. a state. Well, that's why I started to say Alaska. Ooh. I ain't but, never been there. Nope. Hey, That's Alaska. No, 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 no. You see. go there and it's slow. Oh, no, no, no. Living. But, yeah, but I'm talking, hey, I, I, it's a beautiful place. It is. Okay, gorgeous. Okay, and there's a lot of game up there. Mm. A lot of game. Big bad, big bad game, too. Oh, yeah. My problem with Alaska, half the year it don't get dark. The other half of the year it don't get daylight. Yeah, I know. Like you get like well, no, no, four wild. months of like, yeah. man, this is okay. Yeah, but you got to understand. That's amazing to me. Yeah, it's amazing, but it sounds mm. like misery. No, no. Oh, it is. Yeah. When it gets cold, <laughs> he oh, said, yeah. "No, no, yeah. it is." Hey, when I stepped I, off the I'm plane, conv- I'm not going to Montana anymore. You convinced me. <laughs> oh no, no, because I stepped off the plane. We landed in Anchorage. Okay, when I was going to Nam. When I stepped off, I'm in I'm in a summer uniform. This old boy from Louisiana. Oh no no no! Oh. Yeah, and look, <laughs> it wasn't that bad. You know, we got off the plane. You know, walk down the ramp, and then had to walk to the, you know, to where you go inside. Well, I was out there about oh what maybe five minutes. Well, it wasn't bad. I was comfortable. You know, until they told me you know hey, yeah you stay out there you know at like thirty minutes you'd be dead because <laughs> it was forty below. <laughs> And then, uh, hey, well, the best part of that was, look, is I come in, open the door, and I come around and, and hang a right, and guess what I run into? A hater. A no. Polar bear. No. <laughs> grizzly, grizzly bear. No, a grizzly. And I'm telling you, hey, uh-uh. this grizzly could not, you could not let him stand up in this room. Oh, no. And, hey, they had the, the whole grizzly mounting, and he's like this. Look, and he looked like a. Oh, it was mounted, and oh, it yeah. still scared you? Yeah. Yeah, still scared me because you know you come around a. So I got scared a by a fake Native American seance. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. A, a mounted grizzly bear go. got him. Yo, so. Oh no no no! This thing oh. was humongous. He ran know. and left everybody else in there and thinking I, it was a bear attack. His claws looked like samurai swords. Samurai swords. Samurai. Samurai. And he had his mouth <laughs> open and look. His teeth looked like they was that long and that big around. He uh, said yeah, about two foot. Now. Oh no! I'm telling you, this thing was a. <laughs> A colossal. Okay, he was. I. I don't even. Ooh. I ain't even got a, a word big enough for him. Okay, 
gigantic. Yeah, so, but I, so I like to have a heart attack, you know. Well, you've convinced me of not going north. Yeah. So where are you headed, Hammer? Them things are eight you. It was good for a visit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can we can we change this to oh we we just going to, we just going to we, we can do that in the next second yeah let's do that as soon you as don't we have find to, out where Johnny D you don't going. have to move there you just want to stay yeah. for a week and then going? Yeah, I I'm just going want to, to go sport. for like three days okay <laughs> I'm going to wham <laughs> I'm going for a visit because I would like to spend three days in Alaska for one reason oh yeah what's and, the reason paying for gold. Paying for go. I'm with you. No, no, I'm serious. We did that one time. Because when we was flying in on them little puddle jumping planes. Yeah. Okay, I was looking where the rain comes down off the mountain. I said, I could get at the bottom of that with a pan. And, and you know, already look like the. I, like, I would come back a rich man. You, you know, look like, like all the people. Yeah, all yeah, the people right. you see in them old movies. Yeah. Oh no! You know there's towns. And you've already got to talking to yourself. There's towns. Oh no! Yeah, hey, me and the boys. Hey, me and the boys will fit right in in Alaska. You would have been the greatest 49er of all time. <laughs> I got bad news for you though. There ain't no oxygen up there. Not much. Yeah, but you're gonna have to get that implant before you head well, there. <laughs> but, <laughs> you picture Sai and some overalls with no shirt on, just panning for. See gold. there, it's always something. Yeah. It's always something when you make a choice. There's okay? whole towns up there in Alaska that don't have no roads coming to. Oh them. no, yeah. The only way you can get there is, by is boat, plane, or, or mule. Birkin out. Mm. Or mule. <laughs> Ride a mule up there, boy. That's what they <laughs> say. Birth canal. That's what they told me. <laughs> they there ain't, there ain't but three ways to get here: <laughs> boat, plane, or birth canal. <laughs> <laughs> That's good there. I hey, hope somebody in the last listening. love it, though. Hey, that means the people got a sense of humor, boy. Oh, they yeah. have fun. Oh, man. Oh, right. that's good stuff. Okay, well, we're going to recover from that. We'll wow. be back right after this. Do you want to know where I would go now? Don't say anywhere that brings that sparks a memory from these two. <laughs> oh, I got one. <laughs> Florida. Florida. I would oh. move to Florida. Why? Oh yeah, down there, there's a lot. Been Wait big tarping oh. down there. Make Why America, would you Florida. Move to Florida. Uh, for a plethora of reasons. Florida's Why? got it going on. Yeah, but that's where all the old people are at, son. I hang out with you all the time. Let me tell you, they are yeah, but a hey, lot of one, them down one. there too. I'm telling you, I just Florida come from is, is full of old people. You want to know why? Why? Because they're all wise, and they said where they're oh, at they're ain't wise. near as good oh, as Florida, so let's all just head well, on to Florida. Oh, so you're going after knowledge. No, wisdom. I'm going after uh, wisdom. No income taxes, beaches. Oh, that's who you can you tell you that is a bald faced liar. They don't have state income tax. Oh, yeah, they do. They take they take their money. Well, they doing it better. Well, hey. No, they, they, just make hey. You, they just make you. I'm going to open up the Honey Hole Saltwater you, Edition. They've brainwashed you that you, you, you're not giving anything up. Now, I you, know you're are. still paying taxes, you but you're paying less in Florida. Well, hey, they're ripping you off. Than most places. It's the same reason all them people are leaving California and going to Texas. Yeah. Well, it feels better when you're not taxed for being successful. See? Yeah. They just, you have to pay property tax every month, which is the greatest theft in America. But that's neither here nor there. Now we're getting political. All I'm saying is make America Florida, Ron DeSantis president. No, hey, that ain't the greatest ripoff there is. Hey, what? Insurance is the biggest ripoff they got going. Well, that's Mm -hmm. true. That's another good one. I would go to Florida. Insurance is a ripoff until you need it. He ain't ain't going to even argue about it, boy. Uh, I I, 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 I ain't for insurance. So, Florida. Well, Unless I somewhere if, around the confluence. If money was no issue, then I would, you know, I would buy my own beach in Mexico. Hey, that's why I went to Alaska. What? Money ain't no issue. Well, for you. Well, no, no, yeah, I, no it's I'm in the not, hills. No, it's just laying anybody, around. Oh, this is just totally mad. Hey, well, in that case, I'm buying full of gold, so my own beach. Hey, there ain't no money problem in Alaska. Oh, oh you, the problem is, st- hey, the lazy people can't won't work for it. See, I just want to sit on a beach and go fishing from the bank. (laughs) Hey, you could get one of them metal detectors and then find change on the beach. Somebody get Jace on the phone quick. We sell them now. There you go. (laughs) There you go. You can order them exclusively at duckcommander.com. Oh, 
Uh-huh. I just had. Hey, I, I got. You got I another mean, one? No, no. Yeah, I gotta say this on the podcast. Go ahead. Hey, look, God woke me up the other morning about two a.m. A guy or the Lord? Oh, the Almighty. Woke okay, that's what I thought you okay. said, but yeah, I just wanted yeah. to clarify. Okay, capital G O D. Hey, here's what I want to know from everybody. All right. All right. I want to know what was Jesus's blood type. <laughs> o positive. Nope. What you know? What's the, I have my opinion. What's the universal donor? <clears throat> hey. O positive, I think. Is it? Or O negative. Mm-hmm. Ne- no, it ain't no negative. Yeah, negative O negative. High, high dollar blood. Oh, yeah, I got it. High, oh, dollar, no, no. high dollar blood. Yeah, oh, when run, you, hey, when you go sell it. running in my blank. Oh, yeah, it's, when you go sell it. Hey, universal. Negative, negative is big buck. Donor they call blood. me all the time. O negative so is. I'm going O negative. Yeah, I think that's probably no. right because no. he gives and no. he gives and he gives. Even no. when you don't deserve it, he gives. No. He gave for no. all of us. No. O negative's it. Not, hey, I'm just, this is my opinion. Right. I'm going to have to tell y'all now. Since well, you tell said me. That. Well, hey, it's resurrection, love positive. What? That's his blood type. R-L- resurrection, plus? love positive. Love positive. You think he had a different type of blood? Well, yeah. Well, yeah, he had a different type of blood. But I thought he was human. He, hey, he, hey, he was a human being in in flesh, but he was also, you know, the deity. And look, he never done. He gave like you was talking about, okay. And then he was always positive. Always positive. And there was always love involved. Resurrection, mm-hmm. love, positive boys. That's what he had to have. That's what he had to have. He That's had it. to have it. That's it. Well, Martin. <laughs> I got them all. Besides I got them all scratching their head. Besides heaven. Hey, I scratched my head for four hours that next morning. That morning when he woke me up, let me know that. I love it. I like it. <laughs> I tell you, me and the wow. Almighty are having fun, buddy. Okay. Wow. Oh, man. Uh, wow. You know, if you spell wild backwards, it's still wild. If you flip it upside right. down, hey, you that's small. Either way you want yeah, to. Back was off. Mind you to call. It's still wild. Yeah. Remind you to call mom. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. But what is uh, happening in the world around? Hold on. I want to know where Martin wants to move. Also, uh, uh, okay. Martin hasn't said yet, has he? Okay. A lot of people think it's AB positive, according to the internet. AB positive. A-B I think positive. that's just yeah. historically what yeah. most people from. Yeah. Bethlehem, be, I guess. Be Nazareth. Love since he gave all of it for us, I'm going O negative. Since that's what a lot of people negative. said. Since too. he was the no. biggest donor. No. Yeah. I mean, if we're talking about blood types that actually exist, I'm saying that that are known. Well, I just because don't not known don't. I, that's why I'm saying I'm not. Look at the Black Panther, that's sir. That's right. Hey, yeah. I, Ow. I, I give you the Black Panther as evidence. There you go, <laughs> Martin. Where are you going, Martin? Where are you, Martin? Right now, you're thinking about moving because you have to sit in here twice a week. Where are you going? I wouldn't trade this time for nothing. <laughs> it, it, it makes me scratch my head and oh, wonder no. how we get from here to there. But, uh, oh, I love it. Yeah. I love, I love it. Really I love you. I, now, I will say, I I ain't going north of, like, St. Louis. Okay, That's a good stop. Yeah, I'm not, I ain't that going that going arch, that's there. actually why they built it. It yeah. was the It's a big stop sign to say, don't go above yeah. this. I, yeah. Or go west, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it was east to west, not north to south. Well, I'm you know. changing it. I've been up in that thing; it moves. Hey, that's a good mm-hmm. question. Why did how do we why did we settle this America from from the west? Why did we everybody travel west? Because that was the only didn't direction come from the Japan. West. Because of that song. Because of what song? What's go west, young man. <laughs> you been told. <laughs> California's full of whiskey. <laughs> That's right. Gold. Women and gold. There's there gold in them hills, si. Gold. So not as far as St. Louis and not as south. Well, I would say probably somewhere in North Alabama, probably. North, North Alabama. 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 You're yeah, just saying that because all of our oh, fans wait, wait, are from wait, North no, Alabama. No, 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 that Tennessee no, right. River. That's why I ain't saying that. No, well, well, no, no. what it does is it gets you a shorter drive to, like, Everything. Yeah, but that's beautiful country. Connersville, North Whaler. That's, that's beautiful country. You the can mountains. be duck hunting in three hours. Oh yeah. You can be fishing. I mean, there's just it, it's a lot. Yeah. Turkey oh, yeah. hunting, deer hunting. You got you got Lake Gunnerville. A lot of a lot of a lot of crappie. A lot, lot of, of bass. Oh yeah. A lot of ducks. Coastal River. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So, I don't beautiful. know somewhere like that. You got a lot of deer. You got a lot of turkey. Okay. Mm-hmm. North yeah. Alabama. Somewhere. I didn't oh, see no. that coming. Didn't yeah. see it. I'm not going to the beach. 
No, I ain't going to I'm, Florida. I'm with I enjoy the ocean. I'm with Phil on going to the beach. I'm fixing to go. To the I beach. think there's still who's some Phil? Uh, Phil Robertson. Yeah. Okay. Was he? He not uh, a beach man? No. No. I like the ocean, man. I think I'm still. There's still some places in North Alabama that's kind of wild too. They got big blocks of woods up through there and stuff. Oh yeah. Like yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about Huntsville. Yeah. And they got. No, well, yeah. <laughs> But they got like cool things, man. All them creeks. They got like high salamander diversity. Oh, that was and, like I when I was in Alabama. Like I should have. I mean, you can really go be a nerd. You can take your kids yeah. go down to Martin the creek. Martin is and be choosing. A nerd. He's getting kicked out of his house, and he's choosing where to go based on the variety of turtles. That's yeah. right. <laughs> and salamanders. Don't you want to see some stuff, man? That's that's yeah. cool stuff. And mm -hmm. they got like a super high diversity of fish too, like just different little freshwater fish and stuff. So. Oh biologically like that <laughs> alabama river basin is like the equivalent our equivalent of the amazon essentially Ooh. biologically Ooh. really so it's actually yeah it's oh, actually yeah. a really cool little area well hey there yeah. uh, there well, you're it's just the amazon. melting pot oh, well you're talking about the species. amazon jungle yeah <clears throat> yeah that's a cool place dangerous place but it's cool mm -hmm. <laughs> have you been oh no that's where all of our um pharmaceutical things come from uh i don't huh really Oh, yeah, all our drugs. Oh, I, yeah, it comes from some kind of tree or yeah, bark or yeah. limb. Or, that, oh, I thought you were talking about, like, all, illicit all drugs. The poisons <laughs> off a of uh, frog. He's about our boy Pablo. Poisons off a of frog. Yeah. They'll get and look, what? how about the size of your thumb? And they'll kill you dead as a hammer. Hammer. The if poison touch, dart frog. I ain't going yeah. there, then. They shoot touch, darts at you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the uh, natives down there use on darts, blowgun darts. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm they, glad I'm... They, all they do is they just run it on that frog's back and then shoot monkeys with it. I'm glad I'm out of range. they eat a lot of monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> monkey blood. That, then they get the blood out and sell it to you. Hey. I die. There's people that hunt monkeys, and that's oh, weird to me. Hey. I mean, it's fine they if you're eating them, them, but... Yeah. They live I saw them. a mounted monkey once, and I just couldn't get out. I was like, why would you do that? Like, I don't get it. Yeah. Why you guys shoot him? Well, look, hey, tell me the the catch it and put it in 30 zoo. minutes or less. We hadn't even left the <laughs> SEC, hey, yeah. except yeah, to well. say places we don't want to go. Yeah. Hey, You're going to Venice. I'm going to Florida, North Alabama, yeah. and Arkansas. Oh. Like, uh, Everywhere else too cold, though. I guess yeah. Yeah. what this discussion has really showed us is West Monroe, Louisiana is the place for all of us. Oh, uh, yeah. well. Yeah, I, yeah, need but to, no. I need to be a woolly mammoth to go to Alaska. Just, and all them people in the north say, well, we couldn't deal with y'all summer. And I feel the exact same way about their winter. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, oh, yeah. I get it. So it oh, equals yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, tell me the difference in this. Uh-oh. A well-dressed man on a unicorn or a poorly-dressed man on a bicycle? A poorly-dressed man on a bicycle exists. A, a well-dressed man on a unicorn or versus a poorly-dressed man on a bicycle? Mm-hmm. What's the difference? A tire. What's the difference? A tire. A tire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> is it a unicorn or a unicycle? I unicycle. Love it. A unicycle. <laughs> Did I say unicorn? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Unicycle. A tire. Yeah. A tire. <laughs> I didn't know where you were going. Oh, oh, I threw it down a little bit. I still got it because of the attire, but the unicycle yeah. makes way. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. yeah. On a unicycle. Yeah. A, a poor dressed man on a unicycle. We done talked to ourselves in such a big circle. Well, I was, I, looking at, joke. I was looking at Cy <laughs> when I told it. So. And he is a unicorn. <laughs> One of a kind. Yeah, there ain't no doubt about that. Well, let's take our last oh. break. We'll be back right after this. I've always wanted to stop at the city called Chunky. Chunky. And take a picture in front of Cy. Oh, speaking of. Chunky, Mississippi. You know where I met somebody from? Where? This is our fan, Booger Bottom. Booger Bottom Drive. Booger Bottom. No, Tennessee. Oh, there's no Booger, Booger Town. Oh, Booger His Town. His name's Andrew. He came in the honey hole. He was sad that I cut off my mullet because I had one for about 30 minutes. I put it on Instagram and he was like, Man, you should have kept that mullet. I said, Really? Where are you from? He said, Booger Town. I said, That's pay. And in uh -huh. a matter of full disclosure, I was one of your get rid of it votes. Well, we, I, so I put a <laughs> poll up. So I had a cool mullet. It was Billy Ray Cyrus to the extreme for like an hour. And I put a poll up, and there was like 900 keep it and 200 get rid of it. But I was what one I, of the 200. What I figured out was that's just because a lot of rednecks dudes followed me because it was like all the Trevors and stuff were like, keep it. 
all the Emilys and Susans of the world were like, nah, bro, that's not a good look. And that's a lot of, that's 900 people that really just want to make fun of you when you ain't around. That's probably true, too. But I love a mullet. I thought I looked cool. My wife didn't. Anyways. Burger Town, Tennessee. Yeah. He told There's me I had a farmers up there. And they got a sign as soon as you come in town. Pick him. home. <laughs> that's a goblin joke. I yeah. like it. <laughs> Lots of farmers, and you can pick your own. That's right. Yeah. Pick your own, boy. <laughs> All right, go All ahead. All right, Kobe yeah. from Tishaminga. I, I got a card for my birthday. I opened it up, and it's running his finger off his nose. He said, hey, I'll pick this out just for you. <laughs> BK must have got you that. Oh, I loved it. I loved it. All right. Anyway, okay. Kobe from Tishaminga. Tishaminga. And I just I, – I love Tishmingo. Is that some kind from of dog? No, it's a town in Mississippi. Oh, I thought it was you could have made a lot of money back in the day because mm. there was a man that would pay you to sing into his can. But me and my wife, Tori, have recently found out we're expecting. Whoa, whoa. Congratulations. Congratulations. Uh, they're 21 years old. Found out about the same time that Martin was uh, having a baby. And he's just wondering, uh, any advice for first children? Martin, hit them with it. Yeah. <laughs> Remodel your house. <laughs> <laughs> It's a great idea. Is that what you're doing? Yes. Wild, man. Yeah, that's a great idea. Your wife's not stressed at all. I didn't know you were doing that. <laughs> yeah. No, well, we just made that decision. So. Hey. Yeah. Well, Consistency, uh, boys. That's the trick to it. Yeah, we're made, our, our, our house was really good for a married couple with no children. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not so much for kids. So you're just remodeling the thing. Yeah, we're gutting a couple of things, changing a few things around. Uh, there you go. He's gutting the place. You're going to find out that there, well, once they start walking and crawling, that there's a lot of stuff that's not high enough. Yeah, well, we're getting rid of some corners and edges, too, in yeah. preparation for yeah. that. We're, we're smoothing things out a little bit. So and Then if you got one that is a climber, you're never going to have enough. It's never going to be high enough. Well, that'll be what everyone takes after his mama. Yeah, that's true. I said he is like I know it's mama. I don't know. But, yeah, what everyone takes after his mama. Now, if it takes after me, it's just going to lay there on the couch. Patient. Or mow the grass. That's Patience. what I'm hoping for. I need a good weed eater hand. Relax, boys. But I would just say first time. I don't. I mean, all I've been doing is listening everybody i ain't been trying to tell nobody how i'm gonna do this do that i'm i'm taking all advice mm -hmm. and putting it into my brain and listening and because there's a lot of people that's got children out there that well there is no ultimate plan no you just that's the other thing i said you just kind of read and react yeah. you know like and you figure it out this is you, so. you gotta be a, a good improv person <laughs> you better start being good to mom yeah. yeah yeah and get her whatever she wants that's that's my other piece of advice because right now she's doing all the work, so um, yeah, no, it's gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to it. Congratulations! Congrats, Kobe. Yeah, I just say hold on tight and Enjoy play, it. It, play defense. Let man. it ride, baby. It's gonna happen. Yeah, um, and that's get a, people around you you trust. Song. Let it ride. Oh, is it a song? Yeah, it's a song. All right, all right. I got another one, and this one's actually kind of incredible to me. Tanya from Crockett Mills, Tennessee. Um, she loves the podcast. She's thankful for it. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. But thank she has you. a question. Her daughter, Emma, is a teacher, and they had a fish that died for the third time this week. Wow. Its name is now Lazarus. She leaves, it at sc she leaves school. Lazarus is floating upside down. She gets back to school. Oh, she leaves to go to school. She gets back home from school. He's back alive. Can any of us, Martin, looking at you, explain what is going on with this crazy fish? Playing possum. That's amazing you said that. That was what was in my brain, because that's what he's doing. You think he's just faking okay. him out? Uh, he's playing possum. Is that it? Yeah, there's a water bug in the water with him, and he's trying to get him to come close to him. So he's playing possum to get him. I don't know. Generally, when I see a fish floating upside down, <laughs> I knock the sides off of him, so I'm not going to be able to help a whole lot here. <laughs> <laughs> knock the sides off. Well, you don't eat a gold bug. Right. right. Says you who? Can. Is that a challenge? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. You can. Mm. It's a fish. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I have no idea. I, I've never had a pet fish. Or he could so, just be. Awesome. I have a lot of pet fish at work that I sell, and they do the same thing. I think fish are just weird. 
especially ones with short lifespans like that. Yeah, I don't know. It's a goldfish. I don't know that she's hey, 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 never heard of that before. It's probably either a goldfish or one of them beta. Fish. Well, no, no, because what it was when she woke up, got ready to go to school. Okay, he's still asleep. Maybe he's just trying to keep her. Maybe home. he's asleep. He's asleep. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, I'll run all right, all right, him before he's practicing. Fish. Okay, all right, he's Put practicing down there floating. In front of them, they don't even move. Oh, right, he might be practicing floating. <clears throat> Maybe he's working on his backstroke. Hey. That's pretty cool. Maybe you it. should name him Michael Phelps. Mm-hmm. Hey, that is. Instead oh, of Lazarus. Lazarus is way better. Yeah. Lazarus yeah, is yeah, I like the name. name. Lazarus. Well, Lazarus did he, it once. He rose from the dead. They just keep faking everybody. Well, maybe like, you should name him Kitty. He was dead in the morning. Or Sweet Pea. He's wanting something. And That's he what rose from the yeah. dead. Maybe he wants you to scratch his belly. My dog does that every morning. Yeah. Every morning before I leave, hey. she roll over. I don't hey, think nothing's that, wrong with her, though. That's good advice. <laughs> scratch take, the fish's take belly? Take your toothbrush. Okay, an old one. Okay, and scratch his belly while he's <laughs> I love okay. it. An old one? I would try to do a new one. Okay. Mm. Uh, them, chemical, now, them chemicals mess the fish. No, hey, use the old one and then get you a new one. Okay. All right. I, I love it. Last one. Alex from Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. What's that? Baton Rouge. what's your birthday? September the 6th. So is his, and he said it's the greatest day ever it because is. of you two. Um, all right, Alex has a question. He's been listening to podcasts, and he needs advice. He is running for sophomore class president. The election is this fr- – well, you should have emailed in f- earlier because you're not going to get this in time. But in case – I'm going to give you – we're going to give him – class president advice he's not terribly popular at school but he does believe his campaign will encourage the people and uh to look past that and vote for alex for sophomore class president do we have any advice on a man running for sophomore class president stay faithful he did put that he said he trusts god with whatever the outcome is yeah i was meaning if he had a girlfriend most politicians when they get to kissing on secretaries and stuff. Uh, Martin ain't into yeah, politicians, yeah. Alex. Stay faithful, boys. Stay faithful. Like yeah. You got in all, in all things, stay faithful. Well, I want to know what his running platform is going to be. Yeah, what was his campaign he yeah. said he thought was going to yeah. be successful? He thought it was good. Is it like pizza every Friday? I like, like that. Like, oh, I mean, yeah. Ice cream machine. Yeah, I mean, where are we at? If like, you're running for class president, okay, of the sophomore class, okay, what is, what is, what is in, in, in it? For me to vote for you. <laughs> oh, size up for taking bribes. Right. I don't know what I'm just saying. Hey, this okay. is business here. Size but, says yeah. I can yep. be bought. Uh, yeah. Well, hey, what's in it for me? Now, I just want to know what he, what his campaign, uh, what motto, I guess. Or, yeah, I didn't run. I didn't hold any class officer positions. You know I why? Because that. that required you to be there more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was looking for the that's way true. to be there less. That's that. We, I, we went to such a small school, about 10 of us could, as a joke, elect somebody to those positions. And so we would do it to a kid that didn't want to do it and be like, you're, there, you're our president now, man. We're following you. Well, that's yeah, a nice hey. thing to do to Christians. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Yeah. Nice to know private schools, they really take care of you. That's the old song about, right. hey, put the load on granny. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I I wasn't really ever interested. Ain't nobody in else wants to do it. Of that song. Hey, put it on Granny. Ain't nobody else wants to do it, boys. Hey, put the load on Granny. Uh, I granny don't have boys. much advice. Other, I think you gave good advice. Do your yeah. best. Do your best. And then, I just would take more classes so you can get out half day your senior year. There you go. <laughs> I'd limit my time there, not extend it. So. Right, hey, and this, That's just me. None of us were spending more time real, on the last. I'm not what wood. you would call a valued alumni of anything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we're not really school people. I ain't been back to ULM since I walked away from it. I, I ain't I, been back to Western Ohio High School since I walked away from it. Like My yeah. time there's done. Yeah, this is one of the <laughs> things. I have to, it's been a nice visit. Yeah. But I ain't coming back. He done. Yeah, I ain't coming. Back. Thanks for the time. Thanks for your time. Right, but I hey. gave you enough money while I was there. Yeah. You don't need that no more was. from me. <laughs> oh, I'm in the wrong stuff. tax bracket for asking for donations. So, <laughs> wrong guy. Oh. All right, well, close her out. Alex, good luck. We hope you become a class, yeah. a normal oh, politician one day. More. All right, the verse of the day, it got me thinking. We're talking about all the different places in America, which I think we can say. There's a reason the song America the Beautiful exists because it is beautiful and God's creation is beautiful. So 
Job's 12, 7 through 10, but ask the animals and they will teach you or the birds in the sky and they will tell you or speak to the earth and it will teach you or let the fish in the sea inform you. Which of all these does not know that the hand of the Lord has done this? In his hand is the life of every creature and the breath of all mankind. Amen. We'll see y'all next time right here in the Duck Call Room.